Mark Dickinson, congratulations. That was a good watch. Professional victory number five for you as well tonight. And your first scheduled eight rounder. How do you assess the fight and your own performance as well this evening? Um, I just want to start off by thanking my team. Graham Rutherford, uh, Jacob Dickinson, my brother, and Stevie Freeman, for taking a lot of time out of their hands, out of their own life and that, so I want to thank them. But I think I showed different sides to my boxing tonight, sticking to my boxing, using my skills, and then going through the gears and putting me sitting down on my shots, up and down, and um, no, I'm, I'm happy with it. My coach is happy with it, so if he's happy, I'm happy. This was a test headed into this fight that you said you wanted, you said you needed. Ben Ryden's very tough this evening, but you've gone, you've gone the full weight round tonight. How much of a box ticker is that for you? Um, obviously a big box ticker, um, coming through the amateurs and that, and then the first one is to go six rounds and then to go eight. And I've ticked it off the box tonight, and um, I felt like I showed I had more rounds in the bank because I was looking to push the fight and um, trying to get them out of there, maybe a little bit too much. You told me after your matchroom debut last November, Mark, that you were perhaps guilty of trying a little bit too hard. The hands were low, you had a smile on your face throughout the fight, really. You looked like you were enjoying it. What felt different tonight, do you think? Um, I was just relaxed in there, um, just listening to my corner and listening to the instructions that was given. And um, yeah, just enjoying it. Happy Fight is a dangerous fighter, and I think that showed tonight. You've been back at Burtley for this fight and, and the man next to you, we're going we're to give him a chance to give his say as well. You've described Graham Rutherford as much more than a boxing trainer, a life coach and a father figure as well. How does it feel to be back by his side tonight? Oh, it's, the, um, it's, you know, it's, it's a really good feeling coming back, walking to the ring and seeing him stood there because I remember my first fight like it was yesterday, him stood in my corner. So to do it tonight in Newcastle on a matchroom show, it's, uh, nah man, it's good. Well, let's grab a word with Graham. Graham, I know you're not the biggest fan of doing interviews, let alone doing a live one in an arena, but I know you've been quite unwell. You discharged yourself from hospital to watch some of the lads' last spars in this camp. To be here tonight with Mark back in the corner, how does that feel? Yeah, it was special. Yeah, it was fun to Mark since he was a kid, so I'm glad he's back. He's a soldier, isn't he, Mark? He's a soldier. He's definitely a soldier. Let's grab a quick word with promoter Eddie Hearn as well. Eddie, Cyrus Pattinson headlines later on tonight, but he said it's much bigger this moment for him because lifelong friends of his, the likes of Mark Dickinson, get to share this stage with him. What does that word next gen say about this crop of North East talent coming through? Well, firstly, I've never heard Graham so quiet. You know, we've got to get a camera on him more often, but um, he's, he's got a great team of fighters. You know, these shows are about showing what it says on the tin, the next generation. And you've got to come out and you've got to prove yourself and you've got to entertain. And that's why I was so pleased with the performance tonight. He took chances at times, he took risks. But people want to see exciting fights. And Cyrus and Callum French and Pat McCormick and Mark, they're the future of North East boxing. But you've got to be exciting, you've got to entertain, you've got to try and knock people out. And that's what he did tonight. And, and you know, fighters have got to understand that is the way you're going to build fan bases, put bums on seats and, and drive viewership. And... Um, all of those boys, you'll see tonight, very exciting. But this platform is to showcase the future of boxing in this country and those, those young fighters, boys and girls, that are going to go on and headline the main shows. And Newcastle is a beating heart of British boxing, and, and this is the next stage of talent coming through. Mark, final word from you. I know you'll be excited to get back and watch the tape back, pick holes and, and look to improve as well. But how excited are you to sit back now, watch Frenchie, Pat McCormack as well, and of course Cyrus Pattinson take centre stage tonight? Uh, really excited to watch the boys um, do the North East proud tonight. I hope I did. Big thank you to everyone who came out. I want to say a big thank you to my sponsors as well, who's um, helped me a lot through training camp. And um, yeah, on to the next. Great stuff, Mark. Well done.